from that spot my spirit springs as into space, my body bound to ground, engrossed in sleep, my ghost gone wandering by God's grace, questing after miracles. I creep as on a strange planet, a perfect place where crags and cliffs cleave canyons deep, and towards a flawless forest turn my face, where crenellated castles tower, each keep a beacon of bright light which leaps into gleaming glory, elegantly framed, embroidered of woven stone, stark, steep, severe, and splendidly adorned. Adorned all the mountain sides with cliffs of crystal clear aglow, bound about by woodland rides and birch bowls blue as indigo. Like burnished silver, each leaf slides against its fellow. On winds they flow agleam with gold. The foliage glides on breeze that shimmers as it blows, and on the ground the gravel grinds smooth as oriental pearls, forged of sunbeams set to sear and blind, each sphere splendidly adorned. Splendidly adorned, those downs so sheer, and so my ghost forgets all grief. The scents of fruits so fresh and clear would bring a starving man relief. And birds fill every branch and briar, their flaming hues light up each leaf. Sitole and cittern charm the ear, yet fail to reflect the splendid life and mirth of birds. Their wings blithe with beating, like a choir warmed with gracious, gleeful, delightful breath, in praise and plumage splendidly adorned. Splendidly adorned that bright wood where fortune bids me fare forward. No tongue can tell it in the world, a glory life cannot afford. I walk forth willing, my way to wend, not hemmed by hills and unafraid. And far in the forest, fair and wild, pears and spices, plants of the field, hedgerows, meadows, and rivers undefiled, each gilded bank unfurling like a frond, with snaking shores softly ferned. Lord, it is splendidly adorned. The adornment of those splendid deeps, beautiful banks of beryl, bright as sun, Swirling sweet water sweeps with whispering so soft and slight over shimmering stones. It weeps, glows, glints like glass in light, as stars stream with splendor when we sleep. Stars which wink on a winter's night, and pools each pebble with delight, as an emerald or sapphire sweetly formed glazed in laughing streams of light, perfect and splendidly adorned. The lovely splendors of downs and dales, of water meads and wild woods, bring me bliss and quench distress, destroy my pains and heal my wounds. Down a stream that flows on dreams, I move in bliss beyond all words. The further I follow those clear streams, the more my heart is strongly willed by fortune blessed, by fortune wronged, whether soothed by solace or tested sore, the man blown once by her fair wind longs to have yet more and more. More of joy is in that glade than I could tell in any time, for earthly words cannot make good a tenth part of those joys sublime. Paradise, perhaps, like gleaming gold, lies beyond this bank and stream. The one division, deeps that glide where pools are like a mirror's gleam. Beyond the brook, where minnows teem, perhaps a fortress spans the shore. But I dare not wade, the waters seem too deep. 
yet I long to more and more. More and more, and even more, I yearn to search beyond the brook. For if it is fair upon this shore, the land beyond has a lovelier look. I stop a while, I search and stare to find a ford, but dare not seek too hard, lest danger lies in store. Yet the farther I walk by stream and lake, to hesitate seems a mistake. The urge gets harder to ignore. Then I see a thing to make my mind marvel more and more. More marvels daunt my reason now. I see beyond that mirrored mirror a crystal cliff, clear and aglow. Radiant rays of light appear to rise within it, and sitting below, a courtly maiden, her features clear, wrapped in gleaming silks that flow about her. I know her. She is dear, in glistening gold, shimmering sheer, shining and fair on the farther shore, and long I look and her so near, and longer, I know her more and more. The more my eyes feast on her face and linger over her lissom form, exultant joy strikes with a force that floors me as never once before. I long to shout, desire is fierce, but confusion cleaves my heart with fear. To see her in so strange a place stuns my heart, a shock to sear me when she turns her brow so dear and white as ivory. Then sore my heart is skewered with a spear of longing, more and even more.